Good morning everyone. It is time for another informational video. I'm not going to be carving anything here, but I've got some information. This is a question I get quite often about sharpening router bits. So as you guys know, if you've been watching for a while, we have certain router bits that we use. We have six or seven different bits that we use and I sharpen them. Um, I can sharpen them for you for $7 a piece or if you're a premium member, I sharpen them free. Either way, you pay shipping both ways. Um, but there's many of you that said, okay, I want to sharpen my own bits. That's great. Terrific. So there's some things that you need to, you need to uh, know about. And I'm going to try and just help as much as I can. First things first, people ask me all the time about these little credit card sharpeners. Now this is a 200 grit. This is not one... Uh, that is a real fine grit so I wouldn't use this one even uh, I, I well let me just back up these are great they're they're terrific but will they work with our bits no not really and I want to show you why first of all when you see videos where guys are using these credit card sharpeners for bits they're they're sharpening something akin to our 45 degree profile bit 45 degree chamfer bit so most of the time what's happening is you'll see them mount this up make it nice and solid and um, then they'll take you'd have to take the bearing off of this and then they would would take and they would slide the flat part the inside of the flute they would fly, slide that on that sharpener. And, and that will give you a new surface. That will bring you up a new edge. So that's great if all your bits are this type of bit. Then that's terrific, you can do that. The problem is, our bits, well that is one of our bits. Well, it's close to one of our bits. Our bits, the inside of the flute, is almost non-existent as compared to the inside of the flute of that to try and fit this credit card or fit the inside of that flute on that credit card surface is virtually impossible you're just not gonna do it and if you decide to do the outside which is the way I which I'll talk about here in a little bit if you try to do the outside of the cutter, what happens is you're probably going to end up rolling over that edge if you don't have the exact flat on there. And, and you will see um, when these credit card sharpeners are used on chisels and on planer knives, you'll see that they will sharpen the outside edge but there's a lot of surface there to get flat on that edge and I've seen many many videos and that once that that uh, bevel on a planer knife or on a chisel it well you know what I'm gonna grab a chisel babe on that bottom drawer right there yes the bottom drawer you know what a chisel looks like it's got like a handle on it uh, with a yellow uh, uh, it's a wood chip there uh, well it's it's like that but it's thicker that's a chisel perfect I've, I'm just kind of going off here guys my chisel is in horrible condition because I don't take care of it but so you've got a bevel here and you've got a flat here if you put that bevel flat on there and you use that, you can come up with an, I need some, some uh, liquid on here, lapping, uh, and I'm not set up for that. But that's, that's what you're trying to do, is get that bevel flat on there so that you've got that exactly that same angle. That's akin to what I do on my grinder, but to do it with a uh, credit card sharpener, is is virtually impossible i just i i wouldn't even attempt it even if this was the right grit i would not even attempt it i just think it's uh it's foolish i think you'll ruin your router bits so 
I wanted to put that to bed because Dad and I were gonna was gonna make a video on this, but unfortunately, you guys know Dad's not here anymore, and so I needed to address this because I had kind of put it on the back burner and I wanted Dad to do the video on it, but that didn't work out. So, anyway, so let me go into what we use in order to sharpen router bits, which you guys can do too. This is a diamond wheel that goes on a bench grinder. I didn't bring in my bench grinder in, but we've showed this before, and I'm going to give you some other videos that you can go and watch. So, what I, I tried to do, this is a wheel, uh, our original wheel that we bought, gosh, I know it's been 30 years. It's probably been close to 40 years since we bought this. This wheel is, is like 40 years old. And it still works. It still works fine today. We've never dressed it down, which evidently you can. We've never done that. But where you sharpen is you sharpen on this. This is the diamond edge. This is uh, aluminum, it feels like. I don't know that it is, but that's what it feels like. This is the diamond edge. Uh, we have another wheel that I use on a regular basis. It's only This is half inch wide. It's only three eighths wide or maybe a quarter. And I like it a little bit better. Dad always liked this better. Anyway, the reason we had two of them is because we were at two different locations for a while. Dad was out here, and I was in, uh, still in California, and we both needed diamond wheels. But the other one that I've got is probably 25 years old, and it works great. It works fine. I use it almost every day. So, what I would suggest, if you guys want to sharpen the bits that you get from us, get one of these now i've been trying for several years to try and find a source for you guys so you can find these things when dad and i bought these they were somewhere around 100 to 150 dollars the way i remember and that's what dad had said too this is an inch and a quarter arbor by the way and it's got a spacer in it uh because our bench grinder is a half inch arbor and it, it, that's what I've got on that one out there. So I contacted a company that makes diamond wheels. This is the company, GRS. I contacted them, and I think I've showed this catalog before. I contacted them probably a year ago or more, and um, I've been recommending this company. Well, one of, uh, one of our students called this company up told them what they had I dealt with uh, the the uh, the rep I sent to her videos I sent her pictures of exactly what I do exactly how I do it and make sure that anybody that comes to them I have no financial stake in this at all guys I'm just trying to throw out information that I think will be helpful so I so I assumed she understood what it is our students are looking for Someone bought a diamond wheel from her, from this company, and it wasn't even close to what the, the customer needed. What they sold him was the diamond was on the side of the wheel, like if you're doing lapidary or, or if you're doing this, maybe. Um, that is not, that won't work for our, our router bits that won't work you need the diamond on this surface the width this surface i contacted her the the sales rep and um zero nothing i i talked to her she said okay i'll you know i'll i'll look into it and i contacted her three or four times afterwards and I must say, unfortunately, their customer service sucks. And I don't recommend them anymore at all. I don't have anything against them personally, but they just, they just completely fell down on the job. They didn't understand what I was trying to say, and I did everything I could to contact them many times after this issue, and they didn't get back to me, so I'm not recommending them anymore at all. What I did find just recently, I did find a company that I think understands, I actually talked to the engineer, I think they understand what we're looking for. And this is, um, this is a product 
that I think is akin to what I have in my hand. It's an inch and a quarter arbor, half inch wide. Um, this is the part number and I absolutely confirmed with them very, very confident that they that the this wheel has the diamond on the edge rather than on the side now here's the bad news you could go on and you can buy one of these put it on your bench grinder you'll probably be okay two issues that you've got number one issue is when we bought these they were like a hundred 150 bucks now they're up over six hundred dollars oh Six hundred and twenty dollars is what this this product will cost you now. Whether you want to do that, I don't know. Um, you're gonna have to be using a lot of router bits to justify that. So that's the really bad news. And on top of that, the bad news is when I first started learning to uh, sharpen router bits, I probably filled a trash can full of ones that I ruined. I've been doing it fifty years plus now. I pretty much know what I'm doing now and I did after about a year or two fortunately I had my dad right there with me that you know taught me every step of the way and um, and really imparted what I needed to know and you can learn this you can absolutely learn it it's not rocket science and we have a lot of videos that I'm gonna give you right now um, that I think will help you on that if you want to go this route um, but just don't expect that right out of the bat just because it feels sharp it's gonna work because that is not the case if you don't have a sharp edge and clearance behind the edge and these videos if you go watch these they'll help you um, you are, it, it just is not gonna work it's kinda like the old adage of when you're working on a car back in the old days back before electronics you had to have fire and you had to have fuel if you didn't have both of those you're pushing <laughs> you ain't you ain't driving um, that's the same thing when it comes to router bits if you don't have a sharp edge and clearance it's not gonna work for you so let me give you some videos to go watch the first video we did was number eight so you know how long that's been we're up we've got over 1500 videos now and number eight dad does a video the video the the um the quality of the video not that good but you can get an idea number vi uh, the best video is probably number 164 and that's where dad really goes into sharpening another video is LTS 8 slash 27 slash 17. I'm going to put those across the screen here too, guys, so you can go and search our channel. Another video that's really important to watch is number 73. That is uh, the video about cleaning your router bits and keeping them clean. They will last so much longer if you keep them clean, and that video will tell you. And then the last video is one that I did a few years ago. It's how do you know when your router bits need to be sharpened? How do you know when they're dull? So go watch Coffee and Questions 12 slash 13 slash 17. And again, I'm gonna put them across the screen here. But again, guys, I, I don't recommend the credit card sharpeners. If you can make them work, God bless you. Go for it. But I can also tell you that there have been many times where guys sent me their router bits when they tried this and they messed them up pretty bad. Uh, I was able, I don't think I've ever lost one. I think maybe one or two over the years that I've lost that I couldn't fix. So, um, but I've fixed a bunch. I mean, hundreds probably that guys have tried the guys and gals have tried the credit card sharpeners and literally just ground the edge right off of it it'd be it was they were horrible so uh i wish this was better news guys you can absolutely learn this but it's going to be expensive to get one of these wheels uh, i don't recommend anything but diamond um that's that's just what i learned on and i don't recommend using anything but diamond to try and sharpen solid carbide or even carbide insert so that's it this is the uh well i think you got the the website and the 800 number yeah 
So it's msdirect.com and the 800 number, go back, it's on there. I'll put it across the screen too. And um, I wish you guys luck. So if you guys want me to sharpen them, I can absolutely do this. I don't think I'm gonna stop doing that anytime soon at some point in time. I won't be here to sharpen your bits, but for the, you know, God willing, for a while, I'll be able to do it. If, you, if you're if you not a premium member, it's just $7, and then it's eight fifty dollars for return shipping, and then you've got to ship them to me. If you are a premium member, ship them to me, and it's they're free as long as they're our router bits. Don't send me any router bits you bought from someone else. They ju I only sharpen my router bits. And uh, it's eight fifty shipping, return shipping, and you need to ship them to me. So that's kind of the deal, guys. Uh, questions, let me know. Eric at makerwoodsign.com. I'd love your comments on this. Questions, anything that uh, I can help you with, I'm absolutely willing to do it. And again, I have no financial stake in this at all. I'm just referring this on. I hope that uh, some of you, you know, if you want to do this, I'm here to answer questions for you. If something happens and you do mess up one of your bits or several of them, uh, I'll take a look at them and I'll do what I can. So that's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We love you. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.